Good morning, third graders. It is Wednesday, May 20th, and this is your final math test of third grade. I wish you guys were here with us taking it, but I know you'll do great and you will rock it. So it's chapter eight. It's your last test of the year. Go slow, take your time. Um, this test, it doesn't appear that you're gonna need a ruler for the test itself because they actually have um, a little ruler already on there for you. So you shouldn't need your ruler. If you're comfortable and you wanna take your ruler out, you can, but my suggestion is to go with the ruler that they already have on this test. Um, so you'll just have to make sure that you can tell um, where things are lined up. It says for number one, which is the length of this paper clip to the nearest inch? So when it says nearest inch, it doesn't mean it wants you to tell them an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter. Is it closer to zero inches, one inch, two inch? Which one is it nearest, okay? So make sure you're paying close attention to that. Um, the only other problem, of the, a lot of the problems are very similar to what you did on the practice test, meaning estimating um, a person's height or the length of a desk, all that you, that you did on the practice test, there's questions like here, like that in here as well. Um, you are going to have to find patterns. Make sure for number 13 and 14, it says use the following table for 13 and 14. So make sure a, a lot of times students will use the little table for the question it's just sitting on top of, but please know you'll have to use the, the meters and kilometers table for number 13 and 14. So just make sure that you're paying attention to that. Um, Number 19 that says a bird flew from its nest to a tree 100 meters away. Then it flew a half a kilometer to a bird feeder on Emma's porch. How far did the bird fly? So think of in your big hard book how it had the little table and I told you guys that you can write that down on a little piece of paper. You can use that. You can use the little measurement table to help you determine um, how many kilometers are in a kilometer, or you can rewatch the video um, from Numbers Rocks from last week, that would help you too. But you can use the little um, the little cheat sheet I told you guys to create. If you didn't create it, and you wanna just open your big book and use the little um, key that they gave you in there, you can use your big book as well. When you're done with this, please feel free to email it to your teachers or save it in for the last turn-in day, however you wanna do it. If you have any questions on this test, please feel free to email your teachers. Bye guys, good luck on your final test when you're done. Just take your brain break. See you later.